how's it going? Just here to remind you to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel, then hit the bell so you don't miss any videos and stay well inside in our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Without further ado, let's get started. Whis, the angel of Universe 7, summoned Goku for a special mission to receive the ritual he knew as the Saiyan Angel Ritual. Goku, always looking for a new challenge and ways to improve his skills, was intrigued and readily accepted the invitation. The journey began when Whis took Goku to his supreme planet, where the Grand Kai was waiting. The Grand Kai explained that the ritual was an ancient ceremony designed to elevate a Saiyan to the level of a celestial being. However, to perform this ritual, Goku would need the help of other Saiyans. Whis and Goku set out to find worthy Saiyans to complete the ritual. Vegeta, Gohan, Goten, and Trunks were chosen. Together, the five Saiyans gathered to the Supreme Planet to begin the ceremony. Grand Kaioshin led the ritual, channeling divine and Saiyan energies to create a unique fusion. An intense light enveloped the participants, and a heavenly transformation began to occur. Goku's energy became purer and more divine, while that of his fellow Saiyans became intertwined with celestial energy. When the light finally dissipated, Goku emerged as a transcendental being, with an aura that combined the essence of Saiyans with the divinity of angels. His form was a harmonious fusion of power and celestial grace, and Goku had achieved the Saiyan Angel state. The new form granted Goku unprecedented power, combining the distinct characteristics of a Saiyan with the tranquility and strength of angels. Goku would now face cosmic challenges on a completely different scale, representing this perfect fusion of Saiyan pride and angelic grace. Beerus, the god of destruction, watched Goku's transformation with an expression of suspicion and curiosity. He approached Whis, wondering if it had been a mistake to perform the Saiyan Angel ritual on Goku. Whis, always calm, explained that the intention of the ritual was to raise Goku's potential to levels beyond what any Saiyan had ever imagined. He emphasized that Goku, with his unique nature and incessant desire to surpass his own limits, could be the key to balancing the powers in the universe. Beerus, still skeptical, carefully observed Goku, who now radiated an aura that combined Saiyan ferocity with celestial serenity. Despite his doubts, Beerus could not deny the magnitude of power emanating from Goku. Goku, sensing the tension, approached Beerus and expressed his desire to use this new power to protect the universe, promising not to let his Saiyan pride turn into arrogance. Beerus, still wary, accepted Whis's explanation and decided to observe the unfolding of this unique power. From that moment on, Goku, in the form of a Saiyan angel, embarked on cosmic journeys alongside Whis, facing challenges that went beyond the limits of the known universe. Meanwhile, Beerus continued to watch closely, pondering the implications of this new transcendental being on the cosmic balance. Whis, while accompanying Goku on his cosmic journeys, had a serious conversation with Beerus about the peculiarity of Universe 7's God of Destruction. Sitting on a planet Beerus, Whis began to address the issue with his characteristic calmness. Lord Beerus, I realize that your tendency to sleep for long periods may become a problem. The universe is always changing, and there are threats that may arise when we least expect it. Your absence during these critical moments may result in serious consequences for the balanced cosmic. Wheeze, <coughs> you're exaggerating. I always wake up in time to do my work when it's really necessary. Uh, I understand, Lord Beerus. But considering the power Goku now possesses with the Saiyan Angel Ritual, it may be wise to have someone active and alert. Ready to act in any emergency, you know? Goku may need your guidance after all. <coughs> Are you suggesting I should wake up more often, Whis? <laughs> I'm suggesting that being more active would be beneficial to the universe. <coughs> Goku, with his new power, would suddenly value your presence and guidance in critical situations. 
Very well, Whis. Perhaps I should consider a more balanced sleep schedule. With that promise, Whis and Beerus continues to monitor Goku's development and his impact on the universe. While Universe 7's God of Destruction pondered his more active role in Cosmic Destiny. Goku, after receiving the Saiyan Angel ritual, began to notice the profound changes in his power, feeling confident and unstoppable. He then approached Whis with a confident smile. Hey Whis, I've been thinking. Now that I have all this power, I feel like no one in the universe can defeat me. I can make a difference, protect people, face any challenge. Oh my. Uh, <clears throat> Goku. The power you have gained is truly remarkable, but overconfidence can lead to trouble. Remember, even gods have their challenges and formidable adversaries. Complacency can be dangerous. But Whis, I know there are always challenges. That's why I need to train hard. That's why I do that all the single time. I just wanted to say that right now. I feel amazing, ready for everything. <laughs> Keep that spirit, Goku. But remember that true power comes from humility. Even the strongest can overcome. And there is always something new to learn. <laughs> You're right, Whis. I always keep my mind open to learning and getting stronger. I'll keep training and facing challenges because that's what I do best. Of course you do. We smiled back at Goku, recognizing the Saiyan's determination to constant search of overcoming. And so Goku left, ready to face what the universe had in store for him, while Whis watched, knowing that the Saiyan warrior's path was far from its end. Over time, Goku continued to improve his powers, especially the Ultra Instinct technique. He trained incessantly, exploring the limits of this newly acquired skill. His movements became more fluid, and his ability to anticipate attacks reached an unprecedented level. One day, Goku was training on planet Beerus, when Beerus, the god of destruction, decided to observe his progress. Upon noticing Goku's intense aura, Beerus was surprised and at the same time a little worried. Oh Goku, you're really taking this Ultra Instinct seriously, aren't you? Beerus said with a serious expression. Of course, Beerus, said Goku smiling. I want to make the most of this power. After all, who knows what the future holds? Uh, you're right, Goku. But remember, don't let this power go to your head. Even gods have their limits. Oh, calm down there, Lord Beerus. Goku nodded, respecting Beerus's words. However, he couldn't contain his excitement as he demonstrated some of the new skills that he had acquired during his training. He moved around the training field with extraordinary agility, dodging imaginary attacks, and Beerus couldn't help but admire. You're getting stronger, Goku. It looks like this training is paying off. Beerus admitted. Goku, now even more determined, said. I'm just getting started, Lord Beerus. I'm sure there's still a lot more to learn about Ultra Instinct. Beerus, watching Goku continue his training, was intrigued by the limitless potential the Saiyan was beginning to unlock. As Goku increased his powers, the universe waited, curious about what else could come from this exceptional warrior. Cosmic Chaos Uncontrolled Broly unleashes fury on planet Beerus. A cosmic turmoil shook the peaceful training on planet Beerus when Broly, the legendary Saiyan, lost control of his emotions and unleashed his devastating fury on everyone around him. What began as an intensive training session has become a battle for survival, as Broly's uncontrollable power threatens to shake the very foundations of the planet itself. The unleashing of Broly's power, known for its unparalleled ferocity, took everyone by surprise, including the other warriors in training such as Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, and even the always calm Whis. Broly's anger seemed transcendental, 
surpassing any logical reason you'll control. Goku, with a look of concern, tried to approach Broly, hoping to appease the legendary Saiyan's anger. Broly, it's us! We're our allies! You need to calm down! Remember, Broly, enveloped in an aura of unbridled power, is uncontrollable, and he did not respond to appeals. Their indiscriminate attacks reached the planet's outskirts, creating craters and causing irreversible damage. Vegeta, Gohan, and other warriors from Planet Beerus were forced into action to contain the imminent threat. Whis, analyzing the situation with his usual calmness, realized that something was deeply wrong. It appears that Broly's latent power has been unleashed uncontrollably. We must find a way to calm him down before it causes more destruction. As the warriors fought to contain Broly, the landscape of Planet Beerus became a chaotic battlefield with energy explosions and titanic clashes. The very stability of the planet was threatened by the legendary Saiyan's unbridled fury. Gohan, known for his measured approach, tried a different approach. Broly, we're not your enemies. Stop this and listen to us. We need to find a way to control your power. However, Gohan's words seemed to get lost in the storm of fury that enveloped Broly. The situation was becoming increasingly critical and the warriors on Planet Beerus were faced with an unprecedented challenge. Universe 7 holds its breath as Planet Beerus, a once peaceful training ground, faces an internal threat of epic proportions. The fate of the planet's training and very existence now hangs in a balance of the battle against the out-of-control legendary Saiyan. Vegeta awakens the power of Ultra Ego to contain Broly. The chaos reigning on the planet Beerus reached a critical point when Broly, out of control and enraged, seemed unshakable in a face of calls and attempts for control. Amidst the storm of destruction, one figure stood out. Vegeta, the Prince of the Saiyans, whose expression of anger and determination did not go unnoticed. With a thunderous roar, Vegeta channeled his intense energy, unleashing the powerful form known as... Ultra Ego. A purple aura surrounded the prince, his power reaching levels that rivaled Broly's Zonum Brillo Storm. Goku, looking at Vegeta, muttered to himself. Vegeta chose the perfect time to activate Ultra Ego. I hope he can contain Broly before the destruction is irreversible. Broly advanced with incredible speed, his presence commanding respect even from the out-of-control Broly. Broly, you are an unstoppable threat. If you can't control yourself, I'll be the one to force you to quiet down! The battle that unfolded went beyond expectations, with Vegeta using Ultra Ego to combat Broly's raw fury. Each blow thundered like thunder, echoing across the planet and beyond as the warriors watched this intense fight of the titans. Vegeta's ultra ego form, emanating imposing energy, seemed to have a particular effect on Broly. The legendary Saiyan's uncontrollable fury seemed to gradually diminish in the face of the intensity of Vegeta's power. Whis, observing with his usual wisdom, commented, Vegeta's ultra ego is more than just brute strength, you know. He also emanates a presence that can calm the wildest hearts. Vegeta is using this form not just as a weapon, but as a tool to restore balance. As the fight continued, Vegeta, with a serious look, spoke directly to Broly. Stop it, Broly! If you can't control our power, then I will! Broly, still engulfed in rage, began to show signs of being affected by Vegeta's dominating Ultra Ego aura. His attacks became less indiscriminate, indicating an internal struggle between anger and the calming influence of the Super Saiyan form. The rise of ultimate power. Goku unleashes Ultra Instinct to curb Broly's rage. The confrontation on Planet Beerus reached a critical point when Vegeta, using his Ultra Ego form, fought tirelessly to contain Broly's fury. However, even with the intensity of Ultra Ego, it was clear that Broly continued to be an unstoppable force. It was then that Goku, watching the battle carefully, realized to the need to intervene. With a serious expression, Goku concentrated his energy intensely, transcending known limits. A silver aura began to surround his body, indicating the activation of the legendary Ultra Instinct. 
The gaze of the warriors on planet Beerus turned to Goku, surprised and intrigued by the legendary Saiyan's decision to resort to Ultra Instinct. <clears throat> Whis, the Celestial Observer, nodded approvingly, acknowledging the seriousness of the situation. Goku, now enveloped in the energy of Ultra Instinct, charged onto the battlefield alongside Vegeta. His movements were smooth. Each step corresponding to the cosmic dance of Ultra Instinct, an ability that transcends the need to think before acting. Broly, you need to calm yourself down! If you can't control your rage, you will face not only Vegeta, but also my maximum power! Goku said, his voice filled with transcendental calm. The three-way battle between Goku, Vegeta and Broly has reached a new level of intensity. Goku, now using Ultra Instinct, delivered blows and movements with an efficiency and speed that defied comprehension. Cosmic energy pulsed through the battlefield, creating a celestial a spectacle of colliding powers. Broly, even in his uncontrolled fury, began to show signs of surprise at the agility and dexterity of Goku's Ultra Instinct. Vegeta, alongside Goku, recognized the need for collaboration to contain the imminent threat. As the battle raged, Goku and Vegeta, each using transcendent forms, fought to not only survive but also to calm the storm within Broly. The fate of Planet Beerus and possibly Universe 7 hung in the balance of this epic confrontation. Universe 7 waits with bated breath as these three exceptional warriors face a test of power, control and collaboration. The only certainty is that the cosmos is about to witness one of the most memorable and significant battles in its history. Broly achieves inner peace, a new journey for the legendary Saiyan. The titanic confrontation of planet Beerus reached a surprising outcome when Broly, even faced with a formidable combination of Goku's Ultra Instinct and Vegeta's Ultra Ego, managed to find an opening to overcome the two Saiyan warriors. With overwhelming power, Broly defeated Goku and Vegeta. But instead of continuing his unbridled rampage, something unexpected happened. Broly, now enveloped in an aura of calm, addressed Whis, a celestial mentor who was watching the battle with interest. Whis-sama, I do not seek destruction. I seek peace, said Broly in a firm voice, revealing a transformation not only physical, but also spiritual. Whis, always perceptive, carefully observed the change in Broly. Oh, you found inner peace, Broly. That's something remarkable. Tell me, what is your next step? I have decided to seek the calm of my own key before all of this. I was an uncontrollable storm, but now I want to find a way to use my power in a conscious and balanced way. We smiled, acknowledging Broly's journey of self-discovery. It is a wise choice, Broly. If you wish, I will accompany you in your journey. The search for inner peace is a noble and rewarding path. The defeated warriors, Goku and Vegeta, watched with respect as Broly walked away, embarking on a new journey in search of harmony and control over his own power. Goku, recovering from the fight, commented with a smile. <laughs> It looks like Broly found what he was looking for. <clears throat> Sometimes a battle isn't just about winning or losing, you know, but about finding your own path. <clears throat> Each of us has our own journey. Perhaps in the end, the search for peace is the true test. While Planet Beerus recovered from the damage of the battle, Universe 7 witnessed an unusual chapter in the story of Broly, the legendary Saiyan. His search for the calm of Ki promised to be a journey filled with challenge and self-discovery, and the cosmos watched expectantly as Broly's path unfolded towards an uncertain future, but full of possibilities. So hey my partner, what do you believe and what do you imagine about all of this? Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel, then hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!